I really, really hope that we can build something together over the next couple of years, and we can't do that with people giving the uh, the show a go. So thank you very much. I also want to say thank you very much to Jack for putting up with me. Well, thank you, and I didn't know that you had were going to say something very nice. I haven't prepared anything, but... Uh, <laughs> on Monday morning, we'd hardly said hello On the new Christian O'Connell show Before we had our first glitch in the system he blamed the computer, but I knew it was Christian. No, no, but it was the computer. That, that's been backed up, okay? And while he tried over and over to get it right, we must have played George Michael seven times. It's five. Which is good for George's existing family, because they inherit all his royalties. <laughs> <laughs> On Tuesday, Christian needed a football team, so he made best friends with Hamish McLaughlin. <laughs> yeah, we let that go. He has all the connections in the AFL But I told Christian that I did as well I once met Tom McDonald at a seminar Then I messaged him on social media He invited me along with Max Gorney To play board games and drink bubble tea Rock and roll, rock and roll On Wednesday morning it was Trent Cotchen Who told us about his superstition To wear the same underwear every game he turns them inside out so that they don't stain <laughs> On Thursday's show, we got a call That said Christian has been lying to us all We thought he had English genes The caller told us that he's Maltese That's a lie, a cruel lie They stop this now, nip it in the bud Now Friday's show has come at last But it almost pulled the team apart we argued with Christian, but he's the boss, and he says that we can't take Monday off. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jack. The Christian O'Connell Breakfast Show, Gold 104.3.